day is uh, what's your evaluation of how DJ Reader looks? He looks good. He he does. He looks good. He's uh, he's he uh, got a little bit more in the mix today, and uh, I think he's getting used to those knee braces again and all that stuff. Playing football, you know, there's a lot of you know when you're off for a while, there's some there's just some it's just part of kind of getting back into the rhythm of it. But he, he's 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 looked good. He's done it. He did a nice job of uh, you know getting himself or, you know or maintaining himself, and getting himself in in the, in the shape and. Uh, you know, he, I think he's in his mind had his mind made up, and he's been preparing to try to get back. Uh, you know, when he felt like it was the right time. So you know, we're glad to have him back, and, and uh, uh, he'll be with us this week. Uh, you're gonna be 85. A little bit of humidity down there on Saturday. Nice sunny day, but I know you guys up here in the humidity, but it's a different kind down there. You, any concerns at all late in the game when you're playing that kind of? Have humidity? you been here in all? I have. Uh, I've lived here my whole life. Coach. Listen, I, I go down to <laughs> South Florida in the summer, and it's cooler there than it is here. I always look at my phone, and I'll be like, okay, it's it's 89 here and 94 in Clemson. Uh, so. <laughs> You know, we, one thing we don't have an issue with around here is, is humidity. Uh, but uh, it has been cooler up here this week than it probably is down there. But now nah, we'll be, we got no excuses. We'll be ready to play. How does Ryan Carr look at that hamstring? He's, got, he's had a good week. He's, he's, worked, he's worked his way back in and, and uh, uh, he's ready to go. This seems like a week where he could really be needed with a lot of formations that they run. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it's it's you know they throw the ball they lead the they lead the ACC and in, uh, in, in passing you know quarterback's got quarterback's got the most attempts uh, and he's got the most yardage uh, and the least interceptions so yeah it's all hands on deck uh, for this guy I mean that's what they do they throw the football turnover uh, margin is always big but Miami protects the ball really well so they don't give it away a lot uh, how's ball security been in practice this week. Uh, it's been good. I mean, but it's something that we've got to we've got to get back on the plus side of things. I think we're minus one on the season. Uh, the positive of that is, you know, we've had a couple of ball games where we we lost the margin, but we've been able to win despite that. And I think that's that's a good sign. Um, and the negative is they're plus thirteen. Uh, so you know, uh, but they've lost a couple of games. All right. So you know. Uh, you know, it doesn't always, you know, mean win or lose, but I've been doing this a long time, and all I can tell you is when you're on the right side of that turnover margin, the odds are way in your favor uh, to win the game. And so, you know, it's one of those things that we need to come out on top in this game. I really believe that, especially on the road at their place, uh, momentum, field position, all of those things are a result, a result of turnovers. We didn't get any last week, and so. As a result, we played on a very long field the entire game, but we were able to overcome it. You know, 85, 80, 75, 98 yard touchdown drives. Uh, but that's that's tough sledding. Uh, that's, I don't think you can count on doing that consistently. Uh, proud of our guys. So, you know, getting turnovers and, uh, and then us not putting them on a short field is critical. Uh, and we did that last week. We gave them a couple short fields and they got 10 points out of them. Ryan Norton um, going to get to play this week. How, how do you plan to use him? Is he going to help some with the guard rotation? Uh, well, he's he's he can play, uh, but he I, I still don't think he's quite a hundred percent. So you know we'll we, we'll play him if if we have to, and hopefully the game presents itself. And he's he's uh, he's gaining confidence every single day. Uh, you know, cutting and changing direction, and you know, bending and really grinding on it. Uh, but uh, you know, he'll go in as the backup and and. Uh, you know, if we get the opportunity to get him in there, we will. If we need him, we'll play him. But, uh, you know, we don't have a set plan going in that, hey, we want him to play X amount of plays and all that type of stuff. It'll be more just a uh, reaction to what's going on in the game. Has he been full go this week? Yeah, he's been, well, he's been in green all week. Uh, so he's done all the, all the team work as far as our scout work. Uh, he's not done any of the good on good work. We've kept him out of that. Dabo, I know you're not a guy who gets caught up in the accolades and you're focused on Saturday, but being named to the Bryant Award watch list today, is that something you pay attention to at all? Well, I didn't know that, so uh, <laughs> there you go. You said it out before. Uh, well, I mean, so the watch do they watch. give you half a trophy for halfway through the year? <laughs> <laughs> like a little miniature uh, bobblehead or something? Uh, that'd be great. No, that's good. That just means we've had a good first half. And uh, But, no, I, I'm just focused on – trying to 
be great in the third quarter because that's what happens on Thursday, Saturday. We start the third quarter of our season, and and that's that's my focus. The O line was named like an honor roll or something. Is that? I mean, that's a position that you've talked up for the, a while. The, the, the offensive line was like the honor roll for the Joe Moore. Oh, uh, well, I mean. Well, I think that's a good thing. Uh, it means they've played well the first six games. Better than, it's better than being on the not-so-good list. Uh, so, you know, I think that's a positive. I, I think everybody here, uh, probably everybody's biggest question was the offensive line coming into the season. And um, those boys have done pretty good and just going to get better. It's a really good group, good group. They like to play. They're, they're, we're developing the type of toughness and, and – uh, you know, just the mentality and, and the passion for what they're doing. And, uh, you know, really, really uh, pleased with those. They haven't been perfect, but they've been pretty doggone good. Have you, any defensive lines compared to the speed that Miami has on those ends? Have you played anybody like that? Uh, yeah. I mean, the cats from Notre Dame were pretty good. Uh, they were really, really good. I thought Louisville's front was really good. Um, you know, we, we've seen – we've seen um, – you know, some, some different guys, you know, but it's not just eight and nine. I mean, and I think they're kind of they're kind of freaky looking. I mean, they, they, they're they just sophomores, and I think they've got a chance to really be – I'll be really surprised if we don't look up in another year or so, and those guys, by the time they leave Miami, aren't going to be great players. Uh, but they've got a bunch of them. I mean, I, I swear they got like 15 guys in their front that, that they've rolled in there and played all these guys. So they – they got a lot of dudes, um, but uh, yeah, we've seen we see we see them in practice every day. Uh, you're not going to see anything better than Shaq Lawson and, and Kevin Dodd. Uh, at least you know I don't I don't think we will. Uh, and that's that just that's not a disrespect to who we're playing. I just I just that's a positive for us because we practice against really good people every day and always have. You got to remember, you know, not even a year ago, uh, we're practicing against Vic Beasley and and Barnes and Crawford and, and all those guys. And they're all on the next level now. So um, we'll be ready for them, but they're, they're really talented. You have a lot of Florida guys on the roster. I'm sure they're going to be excited to play down there, um, especially with the younger guys. Uh, is there ever a concern they might get too excited, try to do too much? And if so, how do you try to temper that optimism? Uh, I hope not. I hope we're beyond that. I hope we're mature enough to, to, to just go play the game. But, you know, it's something that you'll address because, I mean, this, this one for some of them might be a little more personal than others just because they've got some relationships with some of those guys and know them. Um, so you just, you know, you try to talk to them about, hey, just play the game. Don't get caught up. And uh, I thought that's what McKenzie did in the in the in the Notre Dame game. You know, I thought he got distracted. And it's okay to play with emotion, but don't be emotional. And there's a difference. Uh, emotion is a part of the game, but when you get emotional uh, in the flow of a game, then you you lose your focus. And now all of a sudden you're not dialed into what the call is. You're more dialed into, you know. Uh, competitive rivalry or something. So I think that, that uh, something we talk about, but I think these guys are, uh, understand, you know, and we've grown a little bit past that. South Carolina is going to be looking for a new head coach, and one of the names that keeps popping up is Chad Morris. Is that a job that would fit him well? I think he's got a great job, and uh, you have to ask Chad that. <laughs> I'm not here to answer questions for Chad Morris. Uh, I think he's a, a great coach, and obviously, and uh, – I think he's focused on doing a great job where he's at. And if there's another job out there he's interested in, that's uh, tough to him. You'd have to talk to him about that, not me. I guess on the subject, have you seen him, uh, his team much? Have you had a chance to watch? Uh, I saw him. I've seen him a couple of times. I saw him early in the season. Uh, kind of worked out. We, I had, you know, a lot of time to just kind of sit on the sofa and watch football uh, <laughs> the first part of the year. So I did get a chance to catch him a couple of times. And I'm proud of those guys. He and I, we've texted back and forth many times, but I'm proud of them. Uh, you know, they got to they recruit, uh, but they're heading in the right direction. They'll get them going.